Crafty Crafty, please do hit that subscribe button below and make sure that you also click on the little bell to turn your notifications on. It will let you know every time I upload a new tutorial. It's completely free to subscribe and it's well worth doing. So today we're going to be making these lovelies. These are party streamers and they're made using the new Cricut party foils. I love these, they are gorgeous. You can see just how big they are. Now we're going to be using the pre-made designs in design space. We're actually going to change them to what we want. So I've made some with some hearts cut out. I've made one with crowns in it and then we've got a princess on the end. And then we've also got a flower one and then there's a little butterfly on the end as well. And there's some great ones in design space as well. There's some stars, there's like a princess castle, there's a sports one. But you can amend them to whatever you want. You can change them. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're in design space and we're in projects. Now with the party foil, there's a few different uh, projects available. So you can either type in party and you can see here we've got some confetti and we've got different streamer projects or you can type in foil and again we've got some different streamer projects here now they are really really easy to change so we're just going to click on this one here and we're going to go to customize and you can see we've got three streamer pieces and then we've got the hanging pieces as well. We've got two that have got stars in them and we've got one plain one. Now if you want to change for example the stars it's really easy to do that. You can either just work with the plain one and duplicate it or you can go in and just contour away the stars or whatever impression is made on them and you can remove them that way it's completely up to yourself whether you want to take a plain one and start from scratch or whether you want to contour out these ones I'm just going to duplicate this plain one three times and then I'm going to size it up so I've now got three plain swirls, but I actually do want some cutouts in there. So I'm just going to go to images. I've typed in flower and I think I'm just going to work with this one here. So I'm going to insert the image. I'm then going to reduce it down so I can make sure that it fits within my swirl. And I'm then just going to duplicate it however many times it takes. And I'm going to come in and I'm just going to place them all around my swirl. Once you're happy with the placement of everything, you're just going to highlight your swirl and your flowers or whatever image you're using. And you're going to attach them together. And this will ensure that your swirl and your flowers all cut out. Now I'm going to decorate these two as well. I'm not sure with what yet, so I'm just going to go into images and have a look. I'm going to use exactly the same process and then when I'm happy with them, I'm just going to attach my image to my swirl. So once you've placed all your pieces, you're going to highlight each one of your swirls and you're just going to attach all your image pieces to your swirl and just attach and then that's your swirls customized to how you want so then the next thing you need to do is you just need to make your hanging piece now you can have one hanging piece two hanging pieces you can hang them from where your cutouts are it's completely up to you we're just going to do one for each of these so for the hearts, I think it's only appropriate that we have a bigger heart. So we're just going to bring a heart in. And I just want to make it, let's do, I don't know, let's just do six inches in width for all of them. And then I'm just going to get a circle. And we're just going to make that 0 0.5. It doesn't need to be big at all. And we're just going to come and place it about there. 
we're going to highlight and then we're just going to slice the circle out. Now I want to keep my circles because I'm going to use those for my next cutouts. So then my next one I think will probably go with a flower I guess. So I'm just going to go into images and have a look. And I actually went for a butterfly because I think it will look quite sweet with the flowers. And I think... I said I was going to keep them all the same, but I think I'm going to go for 6.5 on this one. And then again, I'm just going to bring my circle over. And I'm going to have to make it a little bit smaller. And we're just going to place it there. And then again, we're just going to slice. And then finally, with our crown one, We'll go into images and we'll find something princessy. So I've chosen this kind of princess piece and I'm just going to keep it as it is. I'm not, I say I'm going to keep it as it is, I'm not. I'm going to just turn it into one layer. So I'm just going to weld everything. And then the only thing I want to do is I want to grab a circle and I'm just going to bring it down and then make it smaller. And I'm just going to place it in the head there. And then I'm just going to, I want it smaller actually, that's too big. I'm just going to highlight and then slice. And I've just gone through and I've obviously made sure that all the sizes are what I want. And you can adjust the sizes. I've changed the sizes up here on these ones. So I'm just going to go to make it. We've got our five mats, so we're going to go to continue. We're going to go to browse all materials, scroll all the way down to other, and we're going to choose the party foil. So these are my Cricut party foils. I've got three colours, red, silver and gold. There are more colours available. And each roll comes with two sheets, so you get a plain red foil or a plain silver or a plain gold and then you get a holographic one as well they are super shiny and they're really gorgeous and each sheet is 12 by 48 inches i believe so you get plenty of them and you get two sheets per roll and i think they're great the one thing of advice that i can really give you with these is make sure that they are really adhered to your mat because they are really slippery and they have a tendency to move on your mat and become bunched up in the machine and of course nobody wants that so you want to make sure that you have got a really sticky mat and they are fully adhered. So I've put my party foil onto my green mat and I have gone in with my fabric brayer because it's really high shine and you don't want to scratch it with a normal scraper. So either use a non-stick roller or your fabric brayer or you can put some felt onto your scraper and you can do it that way.